Hey guys, in today's video, we are gonna be trying to answer the question, are fossil watches any good? Yes, fossil is a reputable and reliable brand. There's a reason they are one of the most popular affordable watch brands in the world. They produce a ton of good looking watches at a very affordable price, like the three watches that I have here. They are very nice, good looking watches. You can see I like this gold one with the gold band. This one I actually own myself with the green dial and the three sub dials. You can see these buttons change the date and day. Very nice. This is a fixed bezel. This doesn't move. We take this out of the pillow. Uh, we'll talk about pricing a, a little bit later on in the video. We have a very nice, good looking watch. You can see the white dial with the three sub dials and some diamond bezel, also a fixed bezel. A lot of these watches, because of their price point, they're pretty cheap, that they all have fixed bezels. This watch is about 10 years old, so it's pretty well held up the test of time. Hasn't been worn too often, probably about four to five years of its life of the 10. But yeah, still a very nice, good looking watch in this day of age. Has a leather strap. As you can see here, genuine leather. It's pretty nice. Then this one. Keep in mind, these are all quartz watches. None of these watches are mechanical. And if you don't know what mechanical means, it's basically like this Seiko watch right here. You can see all the gears and whatnot. Runs off of movement. This runs off of a battery. But yeah, there's a really nice theme between the three watches of having three sub dials, the day and date. This one has a nice dark blue dial. This is more like a day date watch, more like a dress watch. You can see the band. And if we look at most fossil watches, you can see the little water droplet 5 ATM, which means 50 meters of water resistance, as well as this one. Yeah, 5 ATM right there, which means 50 meters of water resistance. And then let's look at this one. Yeah, same thing. Some of them come in 3 ATM, which means 30. And I believe another one with 10 ATM, which means about 100 meters. Fossil watches are good looking, very affordable, good pricing. I got these for about 100 bucks both. They had an in-store sale going on for $70 a piece from the MSRP. Then you could buy one for 70, so $70 a piece if you were gonna buy one watch, or buy two for 100. And really those kinds of deals are more in-store and you won't really find them online. You just gotta be at the right time and place to get those kinds of deals. Fossil makes a wide variety of mass-produced designs. Uh, they are made in the Swiss Design Studio. However, these watches are manufactured in China, often with cheap parts and not very well built. Now these two watches I have in front of me are very nice to the common consumer, let's say a, a collector, but not really an enthusiast in watches. These will do on everyday fits, whatever you're trying to switch your style up, you can get these watches very nice. And no, Fossil is not a luxury brand and they're not selling their watches as being luxury. People buy these watches for the looks, not really the movement or what's inside of it. A lot of watch enthusiasts and collectors label Fossil as a fashion brand, meaning they're more focused on the look and feel of the watch more than what's really going on inside and what keeps the watch ticking. Over the years, Fossil has developed a partnership with many designer brands and well-established companies like BMW, Puma, Skechers, Diesel, Armani Exchange, which I have an example of that in a little bit, Kata Spades, Mark Michael Kors, and Tori Birch, just to name a few. And here is an example of one of the brands, Armani Exchange. This is from my personal collection. I got this watch for 100 bucks when I was in Florida. Just something to remind me of Florida, I guess. And this is a chronograph. So you press here, has the stopwatch feature, which I really like. And then you can stop and then go. 
then it resets it just hold this it should reset there you go yeah really nice watch this is manufactured by fossil but these are one of the designer watches meaning the brand that made this watch or the brand that's on the watch is mostly into clothing and fashion and not really a watch brand i would say unlike something like seiko seiko the company only makes watches so they are watch a watch brand fossil mostly makes watches but they also make little accessories like wristbands and stuff like this and you can find this stuff on a really good discount you just have to go to the store and see what deals they have this was msrp 70 dollars and i got it for only 25 because they had a clearance sale and i wear this on a daily and it's been about seven months now uh this actually fell out and i had to super glue it really bad job i was really beating on this thing so i don't blame it for falling out most of these movements are cheap seiko movements if they on the back if it says made in japan it's more than likely a seiko or citizen movement basically the cheapest bare bones most minimum uh quartz movement now fossil does make mechanical movements as well but honestly if you are gonna buy a mechanical movement and you're really into watches and you're an enthusiast i would suggest either getting something like this a seiko or a citizen or a timex something more reputable like that as fossil would be more of one of those entry level see if you like watches you know if you're into collecting watches these are really nice good looking watches but the further and more deeper i get into watches i don't just really look on the outside i also like to look what's on the inside what's keeping the time and what's making the hands move i'm also a car guy so i don't just look at the outside of the car yeah it's a nice car but i also look at the engine is it a v8 v6 how many liters you know how many horsepower torque stuff like that so i treat my watches basically like i treat my cars most people that are into watches are also into cars because it all has to do with you know moving mechanisms and how everything works thank you guys for watching the video make sure to go follow the youtube channel's instagram page which i'll leave a link down in the description below and also it'll be shown on the screen here don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one